everybody how's it going stellar crew here and i got another duplication glitch for you so this glitch actually came out yesterday there's been a few different revised versions of it um so i've been busy with saint patrick's day and all that kind of stuff so this is the first chance i've had to upload it um but it's new and improved so the original founder i believe is tuto facile france and uh you know freight train what the fudge has come up with a revised version so props to both those guys always come on coming out with these sick ass duplication glitches so this one is another low rider glitch um so we're back to the low rider so you can do the elegy retro custom for the best resale value you can definitely use other low riders but this one is going to give you the most amount of money so this is the one i recommend so if you want to make the most profit make sure you do the elegy retro custom all right guys um so what we're going to do here basically is we need our office and we need our ceo office full of stock elegies all right so you can get those for free off of the legendary motorsports website so make sure it is a free one okay um and so fill up as many spots as you want to be able to duplicate okay so once you've done that you are going to need a friend as well and your friend is going to want to start up um, any mission so they can go into rockstar created missions um, so Titan of a job is the very first one okay so you're gonna have them start up a mission and they're just gonna sit at the selection screen the setting screen um, to invite people and that kind of stuff all right so your friends is gonna sit there at that screen once they've done that you are going to go in and get into one of your custom or your stock elegies I should say and uh, we're gonna hit right on the d-pad and take it in the mod shop so your office does have to make sure you have the mod shop okay now we're gonna do the upgrade option for this so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade it for eight hundred fifty eight thousand dollars so you're gonna need a little bit of money to get this going once you've done that you're just gonna exit the vehicle okay uh, you'll see your you shouldn't see your friend there actually so she wasn't in the job quite yet but that's okay it'll still work so you'll want your friend to be in, in the setting screen so you shouldn't see your friend quite yet okay and my headset is dying perfect all right so once you've done that you're gonna go back down to your office garage one okay and we're gonna get into another one of our stock elegies okay so we're gonna get into any of our stock elegies and we're gonna take this back up to the mod shop so just get into any one so my friends actually just launching into the job now properly all right So at this point you want to make sure they're in the job you're going to come in here and as soon as you spawn in here you're going to have them quit the job quickly and it should glitch out like that okay so as soon as you see the animation for your car driving in tell your friend to quit the job that they're in the mission that they're in the titan of a job okay and your cars are going to kind of glitch out so the one that you just upgrade is going to be in there and then the one you just drove in so you're going to have two cars so now you can see she's over there just standing there so that's perfect so we're going to get out of the vehicle so we're going to go into our menu and go exit vehicle so it just takes a second here we'll get out come in get out no nope. exit vehicle don't want don't need to repair it exit there we go okay so now we're going to go and get into the one that was upgraded okay so hopefully it'll let you get in should just spawn you in just like that now from here we're gonna hit right on the d-pad and we're gonna fully customize it this time okay so first we're just gonna do the the basic upgrade just to make sure it works and now we're gonna go in here and do the full upgrade okay so we're gonna fully upgrade it so we'll just speed through this so make sure you do the loop horn and make sure you do the most expensive Benny rims um, and then everything else you know max the engine and turbo and all that kind of stuff so you do get the best resale value um, so do that as much as you can once you've done that we're just going to go exit back to our garage okay so now we're going to spawn back in here we're going to be in our fully customized elegy and we're going to go over to our blue circle now if we scroll down so i switch the cars here you don't need to do this part just so ignore that so if i go down to slot six you see how my car actually didn't have the arrow above it that's good now if we swap it with any other one it's going to glitch out now you see the car that's on top of my other car that's actually now just an extra car in my garage okay so it's not physically showing up in my inventory right now it's just an extra and the one that I've actually duplicated is right beside it so I'm just gonna juggle these around a little bit so it falls on the ground so I can actually get into it afterwards okay so now you can see here we've got two of them 
Okay, so this one's showing up. It's in my inventory. So that's good. That's the one we've duped. And now this one, just an extra one. Okay, so now we're that's the one we're going to use to continue to duplicate these. So all we need to do is get back into any one of our stock elegies and just get into it until the engine starts. So once you see the exhaust going, engine starts, we're going to get out. Now we're going to get into this glitched out one and we're going to hit right on the D-pad and take it into the mod shop. Now from here we're just going to change the license plate. So if you guys remember, this is actually pretty much exact same as a glitch we had maybe a month or two ago, a few months ago. Um, so from here it's the same thing. So we're just going to change the license plate, drive out, and now it's just rinse and repeat super easy after this point so we can just keep doing it over and over again so again so if you have 20 cars I said again 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 so if you have 20 cars in your garage you can just do this and fill it up so it'll probably take you 20 minutes to do all 20. so again we're going to go down here showing us the LG retro custom we're going to swap it with one of the other ones and then bam there's another duplicate okay so now, same idea. We're going to get into any one of our stock allergies. I'm going to get into this one. I upgraded it when I was first trying this, um, but it didn't work for me the first time, so I had to try it again. And uh, so now we're just going to get into it, wait till it starts up, get out, go back over to the glitched out one right beside it here. Get into this one. No, not that one. This one here. And right on the D-pad and go change the license plate. Okay. So... You do have to have some money to get this going again because you have to upgrade the LG. Now, if the LG disappears for you on the first try, uh, unfortunately, you just have to try it again. So it did happen for me. Um, so you might lose a little bit there. Now, the nice thing is you can upgrade it, like swap it out for the fully upgraded one like I did after there. So that's kind of why you only want to do the initial upgrade first so you're not dumping all the money into it. Um, and then eventually you could swap it out and then go sell these guys. Now it does bypass the 45 minute wait, okay, because these are, you know, inventoried cars, they're not street cars, so it does bypass it. So that's all you guys got to do. So you just saw me do it there a couple times, just keep doing it over and over, swipe the cars over. Um, and then once that uh, glitched out car, once you're done with that, it's basically just useless. If you leave a new session, it'll disappear. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and drop a like. Until the next one, this is Stella Crew. <laughs>